Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Tech Talk here at Extra Taurus. I'm your host, Matt LaFan. Today, we are talking heating season. I know it's it seems a little early, but before you know it, you're going to be working on furnaces and you're going to be working in the cold. So we're going to get you ready for heating season and the residential side of things. And to do so, we're going to bring in one of our experts. And again, we like to focus on our experts, our technical support team that is the best in the business. We're welcoming in one of the best of that crew. It's Bud Sinclair. Bud, thanks for coming on the podcast today. Uh, we really appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. Like I said, today we're talking residential heating season preparation, and we want to make sure that folks have their trucks stocked. And we've done this in the past. Folks might be familiar with one we did about three years ago with John Souza, but we want to update that. We have new stuff here at SG Taurus, powered by Ferguson. You out there listening might be new to the industry, new to the podcast. If you're a manager or a CEO or something, you have new people that are working for you. So Bud is someone who has been in the field. He has done the work. Now he's working for us. And we're really lucky to have him. But on the residential side of things, if they're setting up their truck for heating season, what are some of the absolute must-have essentials that you say need to be on every truck or in every van? So number one, the number one essential that I think you should have on your van when you're working on train to be she an American standard is a phone number. That phone number is 978-657-5216. That's the number to get a hold of SG Taurus's tech support. Uh, you'll call us and we can help you with all of the products that we sell. That's the number one thing you can have is, is uh, just that phone number. So feel free to call that. With any of your train, American Standard, Mitsubishi, LG, GE Connect, any, anything we sell, we have a great team that can help you with all your problems. Number two thing is you want to clean your van. See what you have in your van. You know, go through all that stuff. That gives you a great time. Dig out the analyzer that's in the back that you haven't used since the last cleaning you did <laughs> last December. So get that out. Get that in. Uh, get that certified. Get that all, you know, up to date and ready to go for the season right now is the time to get it in. Cause you know, no one else will have thought of that right now. You'll get it in, you'll get it out and you'll be ready to go for the season. Check the, check the batteries on it. Check the batteries on the printer on it. Make sure you have printer paper for it. Those things. One thing to look at along those lines is make sure that your gas and oil licenses are up to date. Make sure you have it. Make sure it's up to date. Do you, you know, do you need to, did you, did you miss something? Do you need to, uh, I gotta, you know, Get that straightened out before you're working on it, before it's needed. Uh, make mm -hmm. sure you have those up to date. Check your manometer. Check your gas manometer. Make sure that the batteries are up to date in that. And, you know, you probably haven't used that in a while. So make sure you have good, fresh batteries in that. As it gets cold, those batteries die. You know, same thing. Maybe, you know, check your meter. Make this your, you know, every every season when you do your changeover, just change the batteries on your meter. And then you won't be at someone's house with the meter flickering in and out. You know, check your your digital gauges, everyone has digital gauges now, and we're going to get into it some more, but, you know, digital gauges are almost as important in the winter as they are in the summer. You know, we offer a whole Navic line of rechargeable equipment. So, you know, make sure you have the charger for that. Make sure it's ready to go because, you know, during the summer, the, the batteries last longer, but uh, we got to we gotta keep those charged up. So, again, you know, we've got, you know, pumps and recovery equipment and benders, expanders, flaring tools. So all that stuff, you know, maybe find somewhere that's going to keep it kind of warm in your van. Try and, you know, that space is limited, I know, but try and keep that protected. Don't put uh, that right on the door is what you're telling folks. Exactly, exactly. Or don't put it in the back. Don't put it, you know, way behind, you know, right behind your seats, usually pretty cold. But along those lines, you know, we're into all year long using refrigerant now. So refrigerant doesn't like to come out of the tanks when it's cold so one thing you really want to think about getting is a heat gun to heat those tanks to be able to get the refrigerant out of those tanks because as it gets cold out you know there's nothing worse than not being able to get that refrigerant into the system and the customer can't heat just because your tank is too cold and you got to figure out something throwing it in their bathtub or something trying to heat it up which is really gonna you know make you look unprofessional sometimes you got to do what you got to do but you definitely want to do that Make sure that your leak detection, as far as that, make sure that you have bubbles that do not freeze. Nothing worse than going there, gauging up. You got no refrigerant. You don't want to be outside in the cold as it is. 
you pull your bubbles out of your van and they're frozen. They make no freeze bubbles. Check check your bubbles. This time of year is the time to start phasing out the stuff that'll freeze and getting stuff that won't freeze. You don't want to be the guy that, like you said, the you don't want to be the person that shows up to this homeowner's house and be like, so uh, I'll, I'll be able to get you set in about two hours and then go to them and be like, I mean, two hours after we unfreeze my refrigerant tank and you're not going to be able to just hug that tank warm or anything. Keep it warm. Keep it wrapped up. Keep it safe. You should be doing that anyways, but just, you know, make sure that your refrigerant's ready to go because like Bud said, these systems that you're putting in, you're going to need to be pushing refrigerant in the winter. And that's a, a great opportunity, like you said, to make sure that you have all your leak detection. Make sure that, you know, if you do need to make some repairs, you have all the tools that you need or all the accessories you need to make repairs to different lines, refrigerant lines, if you need them as well. It's your your truck is there's so much stuff in it, but like Bud said, if you kind of take the time right now, you know, there might be a little bit of downtime, take everything out, clean it out, and then go put it back in kind of one by one. And if you're a manager, have your crews do this. Now you can make a list of the things you need and say, Oh, I don't have any bubbles left. Oh man, my refrigerant tanks run pretty low. I don't want to have to be scrambling to get one. This is a great opportunity, and I love what you said there, Bud. Empty out the truck. Get it empty. Wipe that sucker out. Get a vacuum in there. Clean it out. You should be, you know, keeping it clean anyways, but give it a real deep clean before the heating season. Right. And and along those lines with, with your van, check your tires. How mm-hmm. how do the tires look on your van? Do you, do you need to get studded tires on your van to be able to get where you need to go? You know, there's uh, tech responsibility there of saying these tires aren't going to get me there. You know, you may need to go to your manager and say these tires aren't going to cut it this winter and push for that. You got to be vigilant about that. If, if they don't want to do anything about it, you know, at least you've taken your responsibility there. Check your windshield washer fluid. Do you have windshield washer fluid? Do you have a jacket? Do you have, you know, boots and snow pants if you need to? Do you have a, a small shovel to dig you out of that? One thing I always did is I always have a thing of salt just right behind my seat. You pull up at the customer's house and their driveway is a sheet of ice. You know, mm-hmm. you need to be careful of yourself under those conditions nobody's going to say well it's cold outside you don't have to come to my house you know that's you know there's frozen water outside don't come they need you to come they need they need their heat but you need to be able to get there safely so whether you keep some salt and you throw that down on the driveway or you keep some you know crampons or whatever that you you need to you know keep yourself safe because you got to keep yourself safe uh you're no good to anybody if you get hurt uh, mm-hmm. including yourself it's a great point yeah. keep yourself safe Again, we always talk about on here how we care about, you know, we talk about equipment and parts and accessories and all that, but we want to make sure that you out there are safe. And, you know, as part of our new work with Ferguson, safety is number one for us here. We want to make sure that we are always safe, but we want you out there to be safe as well. So it's a great point. You know, everybody knows that there's a few houses, and I'll admit I've probably been guilty of myself, where it snows overnight, you end up going to work and not shoveling and you come back and it's a sheet of ice. Well, if you're the person who is going to serve some equipment, they're not going to shovel specifically for you. So be careful when it does get icy. I love the idea of keeping snow melt or, or salt or something like that in your truck because it doesn't take up a ton of space. And honestly, if you feel something a little icy and you throw down a little ice melt or salt on somebody's driveway, they're going to see that and they're going to be like, wow, that person just went above and beyond for me in my home. And it's going to make your company look that much better. Yeah, it's it's just they sell the little little containers, and I just would refill them uh, wherever I could find it. Good opportunity as you're cleaning out to check out your soot vac. Make sure that works. You know, plug it in, right? Make sure mm-hmm. it works. Make sure that you have bags for it, that they're the right bags for it. You didn't, you know, somebody give you the wrong bags or something. Make sure you have that stuff right now. We keep talking about it, but this this is if you get a break, and I, you know, I understand that some of us just have to run year round, but. Mm-hmm. You know, if you get a little bit of lull now, use that lull to to do this stuff because you feel like, oh, I'm just going to take it easy and kind of, you know, whatever. Well, if you do a little bit more with this season, come wintertime, you're you're more set up and you're not making runs. And making runs to the supply house usually ends up with you working late. So, you know, but come now when it's when it's not going to make you have to work late. And then, you know, along that line, check your check your universal controls, your mm-hmm igniters your flame sensors do you have some steel wool to clean that flame sensor that'll get you through the night so that the customer can have heat and you can go home and you can get that during the day if that's what you're up against you know do you have a uh you know do you have an, a universal 
you know, ignition control that'll get you through the night or solve the customer's problems for them. Check what, what do you carry for motors? You know, do you carry a, an indoor blower motor to get that furnace, you know, to, that'll get almost any furnace going like a three quarter horse. You know, these are the sort of things too, that, you know, SG Taurus, let us know if we can help you with this. Let, let your branch managers know, Hey, you know, I always carry this motor. Can you guys, can you guys have it for me? Can you, you know, my te- I want my techs to buy this, you know, as a manager or as a tech, you know, is this something you guys can carry? We can't provide things that we don't know about. So, you know, that's that's another thing. Just coming to the supply house, letting us know, hey, do you have this? Do you have that? Like Bud said, let us know, you know, whether it be on our website or at the branch, you know, your guys or gals can come in and say, hey, you know, my boss has us pick up the specific, like you said, the specific blower motor or this part or this accessory. And we can know, right? Or like Bud said, Call the tech team. They'll be able to help you out. Your branch managers, your inside sales, your TMs. Everyone here is cranked up and ready. I know we're still finishing out the summer, but we're getting ready already for heating season because it's going to sneak up on us, and we want to make sure that we are ready so that we can help you be ready. And going through and listening to Bud here, he gave you everything you need to put on your truck. There's going to be other things here and there, but these are the essentials you need either in your van or on your truck when you're going out this winter. Save you time, save your frustration, make sure that you have happy customers out there because your technician van is ready to go for residential heating season. Now, for all you commercial folks out there who are working on a commercial equipment, don't worry. We're going to have Bud back tomorrow on Taurus Tech Talk. He's going to talk to you about what needs to go in your van or on your truck to work on commercial equipment. A few changes in there, obviously, and we want to make sure we're servicing all of you. So if you're a commercial technician, Pop back tomorrow, listen to that podcast. Bud's going to take you through everything you need. We want to thank Bud for coming on. Thank all of you out there for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Anywhere you can find a podcast, you can find us. Just search Taurus Tech Talk. Follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And as always, listen to our podcast on our website or our mobile app. Want well, to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for your van essentials for commercial heating season on Taurus Tech Talk, powered by Ferguson.